Hey, what's up? Okay, so in this episode, we are going to continue from where we left off with building a room. So we built three walls that are to scale, and you know, when you get quick at this, you should be able to build almost any room, even if you're just eyeballing the dimensions in about 30 seconds. It's like build one cube, rough in the dimensions, hold control, make two walls, rough in the dimensions, done. That's a wall. I mean, that's a room. Um, so hopefully that's uh, pretty clear and that you can now um, practice by modeling the room that you're in right now. I would just start with that. Just look at how many walls is it? What are the dimensions roughly? Make it in there. You know, start to build up your confidence that you can actually do this. If you've never 3D modeled before, you're like, I can't 3D model a room. You can. You 100% can. And we're going to do um, much more complicated things than that. Um, and but, but, you know, a lot of what we do is modeling square rooms. So I wanted to show this workflow first. So say we want to add a door to this wall. And we want to add two windows to that wall. And a window to that wall, right? So this is going to start to get a little bit more into Cinema 4D. And if you know Cinema 4D, this is going to be just like stupid basic for you. Um, but as far as applications for cine design, which is this is kind of crossing into arc viz, like architectural visualization. Uh, we do a little bit of that of this here, but we're not going to worry about the um, making it perfect, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three cubes here. And this is the first time I've done this in the series. We're going to hold Alt G. And what that does is it groups them into a group. So now they're all contained under this object, which is called the null. Don't even don't worry about it. It's just a group object. This null does nothing really. Um, and we're going to call this room, okay? And I'm going to call this one um, back wall. We're going to call this right wall because it's going to be right. We're going to do it from camera camera's point of view. Camera looking back. That's the right wall. And we're going to do left wall. Now this there's no real convention for that. It's going to be whatever makes sense for you. But definitely try to start making up your own rules as far as naming and staying organized. Because as you will see moving forward in this uh, video series, in general, when you start to have a lot of cameras, a lot of lights, a lot of talent, a lot of props and sets, organization is the only way to stay sane. And to be able to, like I said, work quickly and iterate. If the director comes in there like, you know, what if I move the door over there? Uh, because you're building this set and you're like, well, I don't like those lamps. Can you show me the other lamps? You need to be able to quickly A, B them um, and just operate this like you're operating a flame or operating a Da Vinci. You need to be like client service um, and do like, yes, yes, I'll do that right now. Two, two seconds. Boom. You're looking at it. Um, eventually, Cinda Design, uh, and I've, I've done this quite a bit, is actually becomes a live iterative, iterative, interactive um, process where you're doing this live in front of a client or you're doing this live in front of a director or over Skype where you're sharing your screen. Um, it's that fast. It's that good. And I'm going to try to show you how to be that fast and that good at it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, this is a good illustration. So we have the walls in a, in a null here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab and pull it out. So now it's not in that null, not in that group. Um, and I can put it back in and now it is. So here's the thing. So if you grab the if you grab the null or the group, you're moving. Oops, you're going to move all of the things at once together. So hopefully that makes sense. Same thing with rotating. You can um, you can then rotate the room all together, and that's going to be helpful in certain situations. But in this case, I'm just using it for organization. It's not really for function. So I'm going to take out my left wall here. Okay. So. Um, to make a door in this, we're going to look at something called Booleans. And Booleans is basically, I'll just show you. That's the easiest way to do it. We're going to go up to this little interesting graphic. It says array and all this other stuff. Don't worry about any of it. Really, all you're going to really ever need in the near future is this one thing called bool. And it's called the Boolean. And if you're, again, new to 3D, you've never heard of this probably. But if you're, you know, if you've done 3D, just bear with me. This is still going to be important. This video, just in case there is some little tip here that's going to help you do this faster. You know, you might have your way of doing it. This is the way that I typically do it. If it's faster than the way you do it, I would suggest trying it. If it's not, you know, move on, do something else, uh, do what works for you. So what we're going to do, and this is unique to Cinema 4D. So if you're coming from Maya or you've never done this, this is kind of weird. You just got to get used to this right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold Control and left click and drag down in this object fit, um, window. So I'll do it again. I'm selecting that. I'm holding control and pulling down. I made another wall. It's actually right on top of it. 
uh, and it's the same exact size. So what we're going to call this is door. And I don't know normal door dimensions, so let's just guess. Um, let's say that the door in Y, how tall it is, is 6 feet. I don't know. Um, and as far as size, let's make it 1 foot, and I'll show you why. And then as far as the X, what is a door like? 2.5 or 3 feet? Let's say 2.5. I think that's that sounds about right. Go measure the doors that you're using and make a cube that's the same size as that door. Easy. Uh, we're gonna make this um, three, which is half a six. I know I just said don't do math in your head, but that was an easy one, so I went for it. Makes me feel good. Um, so what we're gonna do now is you see we have a a, do a door shape going through um, this wall. So the way that we cut that door out of that wall is you bring the wall into the boolean. And then you bring the door into the boolean. Now, what's happening is that the wall just got cut out of the door, and that's an order thing. So what you have to do is put the wall above the door, like that. Okay. So we just made a door that's cut out, and what's nice about it is it's kind of I consider this still a procedural door, and I'll talk about what that or a procedural shape in a second. So what I'm going to actually do, and this is kind of cheating, and this is completely allowed in 3D in most cases. So I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. So it's not exactly perfectly flush or exactly five feet, six feet tall or whatever, like I made it. Um, but it got got rid of that little hole down there. So if you click this door object, it's still there in space, but it's it's what it's being used for is to cut out a shape in this wall. Okay. Um, so now I can move this door around and this is really fast and quite easy. It's like, well, especially if you're designing a set as a director, if you're working with a DP who's running this for you or as a production designer or someone, or you're doing it yourself, you're like, you can do whatever you want. And you're like, that's a normal door. But you know what? In this world, it's a big door, you know, or it becomes a window, you know, like this. And you can start to just rough it in and get what looks right and then go get the measurements later. Or you can work backwards from reality and get measurements and make sure that that stuff all lines up. So there is your wall with a door in it. So I'm going to call this um, left wall. And I'm going to put this Boolean back in the room group like that. And under it are the two shapes. And you can continuously change the, the size of this. Uh, and you can still change the size of the door. So that is a Boolean. Uh, you know what? I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to keep these short, like I said. So that is a look at making walls or, win or um, doors or windows out of a wall. So we looked at Booleans. We looked at making a group for the first time. And we looked at putting things in and out of a group. And when you put something in a group, if you select the group, everything moves together. Like you would think, it's like putting things in a basket, moving the basket around. Uh, it's the same concept in this. So next time we're gonna look at actually um, building two windows in this back wall, but we're gonna use a different method. Though I think the Boolean way is um, the fastest and most intuitive to working in the real world. I, sp I personally really like using Booleans. Um, but we're gonna make two windows in the next episode, so I'll see you then.